everyone it's all chess and today i'm gonna show you how to flash your original or stock firmware to any galaxy or just samsung device so what you have to do you will have to first have your samsung device the second thing that you will have to do is download samsung drivers and so you will have to head into google and then just Type in the one important uh, thing, which is like Samsung USB drivers. So just click enter. <clears throat> then um, there are many choices, and for example, you will you are able to you know to select. So uh, let's head into this website, which is could be very informative and um, yes definitely this site has a uh, good uh, good drivers but <clears throat> anyway you can also install from different websites for example this one is definitely it has very good um, you can see download samsung USB drivers for all models so you can just find in your device like Control F and then Galaxy or just S7 Edge and then just click download and then you will be able to download <clears throat> here is some tutorial how to install the drivers then you just click on the link and also you can uh, download Samsung Odin Downloader and just download here, begin download and the download will begin in. So the file is really doesn't wait too much, just open it and uh, once you open it so you will just extract all the files and proceed to installation so anyway um yeah you can see it's just extracting and then you just make installation so next thing i will just uh, cancel that since i i have the drivers so today i'm gonna show you um the best way to download so you heading to some mobiles some mobile and then you just can click for firmware directly then type in your device for example Galaxy S6 Edge then just select your own model click here and then based on your country also on your career you will be able to select and choose the best firmware and you can see the version number here also date when it was just put in and then you will just click on here and of course you will have to log in before you can proceed any download so we'll have to register to this um, website <clears throat> just join for free and you put you put all the credential here here's some full morale formularity which doesn't take too long and anyway once you will be like uh, let's okay we'll just log in which doesn't require any <clears throat> more information so just click for regular download and the speed will not be 15 kilobytes per second it will be definitely around even 300 kilobytes per second so you just proceed with the download then you wait for a few seconds and then just click for download so let's just wait <clears throat> and here the download begins so just click download and soon the new yeah you can see that it appeared this is the oops, the link 
So this will be a file that you will have to put into Odin software application. So okay, let's just cancel that download. So okay, since I have and uh, this I uh, will be testing on my very old device Galaxy S4. It's really nice. So first you will have to do this uh, fully functional phone. Okay, so just you will have to power off the device. Just power it off. <clears throat> the next step, once the you know the it's completely powered off, so you will have to click on the power down home button and uh, I mean uh, volume down home button and power button. So I'm just do it. Okay. Okay, now we can see that it's a download mode, so you will have to click volume up, which will continue. You can see this one. It's a downloading, do not turn off device, but never mind if you just turn it off by accident now, because it will nothing change. So you will have to, you know, put a USB cable onto your device. Now let's um, also we have to download Odin. Okay, so just type in like Odin download. Okay, so you have option like go to here and uh, download the latest one Odin 3.12 okay and just Go to direct link for latest Samsung. Okay, but uh, for me it's better to download Samsung model. Okay, also can extract it. Anyway, I already have extracted it, this to my desktop. So you will have to open it with the clicking on the right side, run as administrator, then just click yes, and then can see that device has been added I can also like put it off then you just see removed but it must be added great now what we have to do there are some tips how to download home binary Wow cool okay so next next step you just click AP to show again it was maybe too fast so click for AP <clears throat> simply and then you will have to find the firm firmware that you downloaded directly from from the website and uh, you will have to extract the you will have to open the file and then extract it. So you can just basically just drag it into desktop. Well, it doesn't take long since it will be just extracted. Okay, and uh, when it comes to an end, we can see that the file appeared on the desktop. So just click on the Odin again. We see that the device has been added and guys do not worry too much it's not so you know tough hard to do you know you just click on the file and you will have to patiently wait because this takes also you can see that the Odin might not be responding for some moment it can take from one minute to a few minutes it depends on your PC on a computer how fast it calculates and um, you know it works so just wait okay now so you can see that some changes on the lock also you can see that it has been added you can see the full name also you can see the binary size the space it has and the next step is very easy, just click for start. So let's do that. 
Okay. Oh, we have many, many, many writing here. So you can see that the download is proceeding. It has some, it shows some process on the device as well. You can see that uh, this line will be changing. Maybe not so fast and it will take some time. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna take, you know, show you everything here because it might take from like few minutes to maybe 10 minutes or even longer so just stay tuned also guys do not forget uh, I mean I have one video with get Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge where I had a failure so I in I had also filmed a tutorial how to fix that so don't do not I mean do not panic never you can also if you have a heartbreak the boot loop so you can always change that and you can fix that so guys i forgot to show uh, i mean to inform you that you will have to click on the usb debugging so uh, you will have i uh, will show you later how to do that so once again i'm really sorry that i didn't show you so for example for example in this form you just go to about phone and then you are searching for baseband version and just click for many times I'm sorry no not this one build number yeah so you will now have enabled development settings just go back and click for developers options and here here it is android debugging so um just click that tick allow usb debugging and of course this is intended for development purposes only so yes use that click ok simply and it's done and then you'll be able to proceed with that so you can see that not so many left Okay, we see some changes. And the lock is also changing, so probably we are getting to the end. But of course it might be a fail, but it also might be a pass. Before pass you will see that Okay, reset. So, oh, it's passed, so it's uh, working. But anyway, <clears throat> there is one important uh, file which is called hidden image. You can see here, also recovery. But in this case, hidden image, it, this is the file that really, I mean, uh, it's, um, for example, if you have fail, so we'll just can uh, get it, get it out from the file. Just put it into desktop and rename it to, uh, as I remember if correctly, because I made it in tutorial, like like hidden image and then um, zip, I think, or MD5, yeah. And then you'll just, uh, in that situation, you will just put it into AP and then you'll see pass. So it will be working. Okay, so we have our device working, so we'll see very soon. Since it's passed, you can just uh, untick the device and also can see that the uh, succeeded one, all threads completed, so it's cool. So let's just remove that. Great. Well, it takes some time. So maybe I will just make a pause. Just for your attention, I will show the time. Okay, it finished, you know, when... So it's totally the same. It looks like nothing changed, but I don't think that I see one 
Yep, I don't see two applications in fact before because before this video you probably saw a root, king root. I think there was also super user, but now nothing is left. So I just removed root. Okay, so we have baseband, so this is the newest. Mm. Okay, so anyway, it's great. So, well, thank you for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, you liked this video. So don't forget to like, share to media and subscribe to my channel. Peace out.